What's going on guys? In this video I'll be going over a Red Dead Redemption 2 easy way to get money by basically doing a sort of a fish glitch. I guess you can call it a glitch. It's not really a glitch though. But before I get in the video, if you haven't checked out my channel before, I talk about uh, Red Dead Redemption online glitches, tricks, as well as just Red Dead and other video games in general. So if you're interested in that kind of content, definitely consider subscribing. But uh, other than that, getting into the video, so the location you're going to want to go to is right here on the mini-map. It's kind of below roads and to the left a little bit. And very specifically, it's over here where this little uh, mini pool is. You can kind of see it on the map when you zoom out a little bit better. It's this little like blue looking circle, which is basically just a body of water. And before you go here, actually, you're going to want to get an animal carcass. It doesn't actually matter really what kind of animal. It just has to be one that's big enough to fit on the back of your horse, like a deer or something like that. And there's plenty of deer around this area. So if you just ride over here, you'll definitely be able to find one relatively easily. So anyways, once you get here, and as you can see in my little mini map, I am by that little pool. You're going to want to walk down to these rocks down here. And if you just follow my directions exactly, not what I just did right there with dropping my horse, but that doesn't really matter. And also the condition or of the deer doesn't really matter. Uh, it can be any condition. It just has to be like a larger animal that fits on the back of your horse. But anyways, if you walk in between these two rocks right here, you can see these two smaller rocks right in front of me that are like kind of in the water and kind of not. And if you actually drop your deer with its back down right about there, I don't know if I did it close enough. It's supposed to be a little closer to the water, but that should be good. And if you actually go up here and just chill right here, fish will begin to come over and they'll actually hop onto the land. So if you do this for a long enough time, it'll actually begin to spawn fish and they'll kind of hop up on the shore. And then you could simply just go over and grab them. And it looks like I got one coming already. Yep, there's one right there. So anyways, I'm gonna fast forward this a little bit and just show you guys how many fish I can grab in a pretty uh, quick amount of time. So here we go with that. And as you can see guys, I've only been doing this for a couple of minutes and there was already uh, quite a few fish that came up to shore. I moved my deer a little bit closer in hopes that more fish would come up. But as you can see right here, uh, it worked a little bit better when I did a little bit closer to the water. So there was quite a few fish and I was only doing this for, I set an alarm for three minutes. So it was not a actual very long time that this was happening at all. And just a couple of tips and tricks for this. Um, eventually, like this uh, little area is going to get full. And I'd probably say once it gets like probably five or six fish around there, uh, you should probably go pick them up because to leave room for more fishes to come in. And uh, a couple other things about this as well. If the fish don't seem to spawn, if you just simply pick up your deer and maybe move it a little bit closer or further away to the water, like you can tell if the fish aren't like are coming up to the deer, but they're not actually landing on the shore, then you should move it away a little bit. And if there's just no fish attracting at all, I'd recommend picking it up, maybe walking away for a second, and then coming back down. Other than that, guys, that is really it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and comment below what you think of this method. Let me know if it's working for you. I kind of doubt Red Dead will patch this one, or Rockstar will patch this one, because not really much of like a glitch or an exploit, I guess. It's just more of, like I don't know, just like something they kind of put into the game. Like I think they purposely made it so these uh, fish uh, will pull up on the uh, land like that. But uh, anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, definitely leave a like and subscribe to my channel also if you like the video and if you wanna see more Red Dead 2 online content as well as just overall some more video game content. But other than that guys, thank you for watching.